everyone. Today, I am going to explain you all what is the difference between stateful versus stateless. So basically, how the stateful and stateless playing a role between developers and DevOps side. So the simple example I am going to explain you all what is the difference between stateful versus stateless. So in the DevOps side, assume there is a four instances are running instance 1, instance 2, instance 3 and instance 4. Inside the instances, assume there is a simple application is running developed by developers called product service. Okay, the same kind of application is running inside all four instances. Okay, and then here the client, I mean the user agent, the browser. The browser wants to access the application called product service. Okay. Now the client, I mean the browser user agent sending a request to access the product service APIs or something. I mean basically the request wants to access the product service. So there is a load balancer sitting between instances and the client because the load balancer only knows the IPs of all instances in the DevOps side. Okay. So the client browser sending a request, I mean basically the request one. So sending a request to load balancing and load balancing sending a request to instance 1. So basically the load balancer look what are the available instances of that. So it will send the any one of the available instances. It will send the request to any one of the available instances. Okay, the request 1 received from the client and then the load balancer sending the same request to instance 1. Now, if you are develop any application called product service by using session so you will create a session here and then it will return a j session id in the response okay so basically this line is represents the response one for the request one okay the response one contains the j session id because the product service application has been created the j session and then the same response will send to the browser okay now assume the second request is coming from the same client and then that second request also should redirect I mean should go through via load balancer so load balancer should send the second request also to the same instance one because the session has been created for the previous request in the instance one Suppose the load balancer sending the request to, to any other available services, I mean instances, instance 2 or instance 3, instance 4, obviously you will get unauthorized error because the session has been created in the instance 1. Okay, and also the load balancer should keep the sticky session. Why the load balancer should keep the sticky session? Because of the previous request has been served by instance 1 and then second request also should go to the same instance so that's why the load balancer should keep some identity so when i mean where the request should go in any one of the instances so if you are developed any stateful application i mean if you are developed any application creates session the load balancer also should keep the sticky session and then there is a session you are creating in the application side so in this case the uh, another instances, I mean instance 2, instance 3, instances 4 are free. They, we are not using properly these three instances. In this case, auto scaling is not working. I mean not using properly. Okay. So these cases we can we can avoid in stateless. Okay. Suppose assume there is a product service application developed by the developer. They are not creating any session they are using token based authentication in this case we can use the other instances also i will explain you there is a request is coming from the client and then the load balancer sending a request to instance one product service is not creating any session okay there is application running inside the instance it's not creating any session now the instance one, I mean the product service application sending a response to the client via load balancer, it's not creating any J session ID also. Okay, now 
the client browser sending a request again the same request to I mean same request to load balancer now the load balancer again will check which instances are free now this time the second request is going to the instance 3 because it's not keeping any sticky session for the stateful not keeping any j session id and product service also not creating any session so in this case the instance 3 will, will work and also the response will go to the client properly so in this case the instance 2 instance 3 instance 4 i mean what are the available instance we have so we are using properly by using auto scaling with the help of stateless so this is the difference between stateful and stateless it is a very simple example how the stateful and stateless plays an important role between the developers and devops side okay so thank you very much Please do subscribe my YouTube channel, like my videos and share my videos. Thank you very much.